Michigan has become a safe landing space for some of the world's 100 million refugees trying to start over. In fact, over the next three years, 4,000 people displaced by war, persecution, or natural disasters will begin again with the help of people right here in Michigan. Pamela Osborne joins us live from Plymouth to explain how one church is hoping to make a big impact. Yeah, Kimberly and Devin, St. John's Episcopal Church owns this home here. They actually were using it as a youth activity center, but it's been years since it's even been used for that. So they got to thinking, what if they were able to turn this back into a four bedroom home? And then what if they were able to welcome some of these refugees here and offer them this space? They are $30,000 away from making that dream a reality. The house may be about empty, but in every corner, you'll find love. It's so overwhelming. I mean, you look at a picture of a refugee camp and you just think, I can't imagine. I think, how, how can you help? And it seems like too much, um, but you know, we can do something. This is where the bathroom would be. For Betsy Soul, that something is getting St. John's house for new Americans ready for some of the hundreds of refugees. There'll be, you know, another bedroom here and then there'll be another bedroom over here. Resettling in Southeast Michigan. Well, we knew that it's really hard because of the housing crisis and uh, especially to find places for families. And we thought we, we could have eight people in this house. She did some research, got some bids, and learned it'd take about $120,000 to turn the church's old youth center back into a four-bedroom home. So there's just the shower here. After a year of fundraising, they're $30,000 away from being someone's fresh start. You know, at Samaritas, we always say, you know, be the rock that starts the ripple. And that's a ripple of positive transformation. Kelly Dobner of Samaritas says this is one of those ripples. Her group has helped countless refugees from all over the world settle in. When the St. John's house is ready, she will connect Betsy with people who are waiting. Seeing other people reach out a helping hand to welcome the stranger is just an immense responsibility and immense privilege and so honored to work with people in the community to welcome refugees. So here's what they're still trying to do. They have to update the electrical throughout the house. There's currently one bathroom in there, no tub. They're hoping to add a second bathroom with a bathtub to make it easier for families with small children. And there are other projects that need to be done. So if you think that you are in a position to either help financially with this or maybe do some of the work yourself, we posted the information on our website at clickondetroit.com. There are so many different ways to donate and to help them help refugees. Reporting live in Plymouth, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Yeah, really good. Okay, Pamela, we appreciate it.